You'll have to excuse me for a second because I need to set my speakers up properly. So we can all hear it, so we can all have a nice time. Can you hear it? You can hear this? Let me just get an okay for the chat. You can hear this, we're all good? Okay. One, I've never heard the fact that he says, I'm not entirely happy, <laughs> not entirely happy with this. What the fuck is that? Anyway. Right, so the first time I ever saw this, I immediately called bullshit on that because it's fucking insane and you get so many people and it's so... that I, Whoever just subbed, I appreciate you, but you're really fucking blowing this, blowing this reaction. Tectomic, thank you. Um, because you so, there's so many videos of people that are fucking dog shit. And they're just triggered and quantized, and then you sort of the, the human eye can only see so fast, so you can get away with editing. I spent about three hours this morning watching this video. I think it might be real. And I'm going to tell you why. I wouldn't be doing this video. I have no intention of shitting on people in like, on like. And monetizing it like a, like a, you know, like a, um, just doing it to, to stoke the fire. I do hate edited drums and people who are programming. But I watched this at half speed for about three hours today. And I spoke to a lot of people that know him. And I'm starting to think it might be real. Now I'm going to tell you why I think it might be real. The number one thing to look for when you're doing, when you're doing an invest, investigative journalism on fake drummers is go to half speed. I'm, why am I changing the fucking quality? Your dad's on the internet. Go to half speed or like 75% speed. And if it sounds like Phil Collins drums, they're 100% sampled because the inaccuracies and the hits really fucking come out when you've got when you've got it slowed down obviously it sounds like a horrible doom album but when it cuts to his feet here ready watch his feet watch the pedal hit the fucking drum Here around the kick drum sounds a bit shit, half speed. I think that's because it's real. If you half speed, like when we half speeded the uh, fucking Slaughter to Prevail but drummer, when you half speed those kicks, they're the same noise. Every single hit is the same noise. And the same with the snare when he was doing the ridiculous fucking 300 BPM blast beat where you can see he's only hitting that hard. Don't get me wrong, he's hitting it and he's in time. Every single... If you drop a ball from here and a ball from there, it's not going to make the same noise. But that guy was blasting like this and it was going... Bah, 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 like the same fucking snare drum sound. Those kicks at half speed sound bad. And that is a good thing. Because I think it might be real. I... It, it pains me to admit this. Because that means it's, it, it is physically possible. Yeah. 
And you can see every time he hits the drum, that's when the noise happens. I mean, you would think that was a fucking obvious. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't deter from the fact that he looks like he's about to fall over at all times. But I think that's more like to play those kicks with those power, you need to be like, you need to sit and hit in a very specific way. Anyway, should we go back to f normal speed? Because it's absolutely fucking horrendous at that speed. But when we get to some real juicy sections, when we get some real juicy sections, we're going to slow it down. But that's my big announcement. I think this motherfucker is real. And that annoys me a little bit because you're going to get so many other people saying that the other drummers, that other motherfucker that SJC posted the other day, thinking that's real when it 100% isn't. It's very, very subtle, the difference between programmed and, programmed and triggered or quantized and triggered and just played fucking unbelievably well. But Nolly actually reminded me as well. I didn't, I was skeptical of Rudy at first and then Nolly sent me his stems from his Obscura cover and I put them into Pro Tools and I was like, oh my God, this man is just a machine. And then I think this guy... I hate to admit, I think this guy might just be take, taking it to another level. And I hate that because I don't like his band. At all. Musically, he's not my cup of tea. But... He might be telling the truth. He might be natty, guys. I still, I still, like, immediately, my immediate thought, my immediate thoughts are absolutely fuck right off. Is that real? Like, the, the dynamics. But then I watch it again. It fucking sounds programmed, but, but is it? Let's get those ghost notes. It doesn't sound like Phil Collins at that speed. Again, when we took the fucking blast beat from Slaughter to Prevail, we put it at half speed, it sounds like a sampled drum. When you take a real drum and you put it at half, half speed, they sound shit. Something else that I noticed there sort of makes me think it's real as well. The flam is a flam, but if you were editing that, you would have made it a bit better. Not that it's not fucking incredible drum performance. I'm trying to be fucking a proper sleuth about this, guys. Um, at half speed, the flam was too close together. That's not me saying I could ever play this, but... Do you know what I mean? If you were going to fix it, you'd fix that. If you were going to fix everything. Yeah, it pains me to say this, guys. Because every, I, every other motherfucker that plays like this on the internet isn't actually playing like this. And I will hold my hands up and say, I really do think... I did actually get some other intel from other producers um, suggesting it may be real. Okay, so, similar blast beat speed to the Slaughter Pre to Prevail song, except on the Slaughter to Prevail song, it sounded like rim shots at 127 velocity. Whereas this is not. You can hear the inconsistencies in the snare, which are going to be there when you're playing that fucking fast. Watch the fucking feet. He's fucking playing those feet.
you can see every single ripple of the fucking every single ripple of the I don't even know what things are fucking called anymore. Drumhead. And again, here. Those drums. Those Tom hits. Were they really triggered? Would sound like that fucking... What's the guy's name that SJC posted? The, at the Attard guy? This is... There is no triggers on those toms. Otherwise, those tom fills would have sound mu sounded much better than they did. But the reality is, playing those drums that fast is not going to get you the tom sound that you're going to get on a record. But that fucking, that other guy, the, the SJC guy, played a fill probably this speed, but it goes... <laughs> Trust me, guys. I've been, I spent hours, hours doing this. Hear that? There's hardly any attack in those toms. Travis. Go follow Travis on fucking Instagram. Travis R. Drummer. Guy fucking rips. Um, there's no attack in those toms because he's hitting them lightly. Which is what they would sound like at that speed. There's no attack. There would be attack if it was triggered. I've really, I'm like, what's the fucking, I'm trying to think, like a usual, usual suspects Kaiser Soze moment happened to me this morning after, because I really wanted to talk with it, with Nolly, to see his views, and guess what, Nolly shared my view, he was like, yo, I think it's real. No attacking those toms. If I was playing that half speed. Let's go play a tom fill. Half speed. Who's the other guy? Is it that? This is the fake, the fake shit. Let's find a tom fill and let's slow it down halfway. Let's find a really fast fucking fill. Give me a fast fill. Fuck it. As if you think you can fucking get away with that and then leave me comments saying, oh, you just aren't as good as this guy. Do you hear what I'm getting at? There's no fucking way. There is no fucking way. That's a trigger. I'm not saying he can't play that fast. I'm saying it wouldn't sound like that. Give me a fast fucking fill. He doesn't even play any fast fill. There we go, thank you. My phone's blowing up, have I been cancelled for something? Can you hear how you can hear all the attack of all those? Despite being this fill, this fast. <laughs> Anyway, back to the fucking, back to the matter at hand. Back to the matter at hand. Oh, don't make me watch a fucking ad now. Where are we about here? So again, there, it's probably a point where I thought that rim shot was far too good, but then everything around it wasn't that good. Not, not that good before anyone goes, oh, he's way better than you. I know that. That's what we're fucking figuring out here. But I'm just trying to f 
find out that it's real. Like, like that. Here we go. Prime example. So he hits one snare here and it's not great. It's not a rim shot. He doesn't manage to get a rim shot. And then in a minute, he hits one rim shot and that's what made it poke out to me. Because, and that's what made me instinctively go, oh, bollocks. But it's actually because everything is not rim shots building up to it. Whereas on that other fucking band, the gravity blasts are rim shots. That one, that snare there was not a rim shot. And then there's a rim shot in there. Now, the backbeat you would probably have as a rim shot if you were sampling it. If you, it is a, it's a very quick fix. Oh, that snare was pretty, I've done it fucking on every album I've ever recorded. Oh, that snare was a little bit weak. And I go, do you want me to walk from here to the other fucking room? Or just, shall we just fucking drop in a sample? And the answer is always, let's drop in a sample. Because I'm not recording a video. Also, can we just, um... Let me in that music world. Again, insane feet. But I bet you if I slow them down, they don't sound that good. And by that, I mean audio-wise, because it's being played by a human, I think. I have to give myself massive disclaimers, because fucking people are just fucking idiots. Watch every single kick drum hit that drum and make the same noise. If I was to go back to the other guy... You will see that there is kick drums being hit or snares being hit where there is a sound and they're not in sync. Indicative of editing. Unborn Hazard, thanks for the cheer there. He's playing that. And it's not triggered because you can hear the kick drums going flip, 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 up and down. So the only thing I'm, those, ah, see, four, no, three out of the four snare drums there were incredibly powerful rim shots, which instinctively would make me think they sounded like the same sample. And then one at the end wasn't. And it makes me just think he's just fucking incredibly consistent. Like, you can hear the flub in the kick drum. Again, the toms didn't sound great there, because probably at real speed, they're probably very fast. If you, It would be the quickest fix in the world to make those toms sound better. But they haven't done it, because I don't think he's sample replacing, I don't think he's triggering, and I don't think he's editing. See, that, you could so easily pop a fucking sample tom in there and it would sound better. That tom sounds shit because I believe this is real. I mean, those rim shots, they're the only thing now. I'm sure the feet are real. The rim shots are the only thing that genuinely worry me as to, is this the most consistent fucking drummer on earth? Or is there... A little bit in there. Just a, just a little bit. I'm genuinely baffled. Again, another little shit snare in there. We like to see it. But the song is so fast. Yeah, he's using clear ambassadors. Which sound dog shit by design. So, the fact that they don't sound like, you know, when someone's playing shitty old heads or like a stock head and then magically it's a fucking a clear pinstripe sound. Again, a dodgy little snare in there. We'd love to see it. Okay. 
I've done it before, guys. I, I'm a fucking idiot with clicking things. No, you shouldn't be looking to bother. Why am I watching this? Because you don't even know how to click. You're fucking watching it, though, aren't you? Let's watch these fucking kicks. He's fucking playing it. Listen to that full speed. Half speed, it sounds fucking dumb. But listen to it full speed. Half, half speed, can we agree that sounded dumb? As in, like, just weird. But we can agree that that was happening. Okay. Wait until you hear it fucking full speed. It happened. It happened. Whoever's popping off in the chat like, oh, I know how things are done. I have gone through this with Adam Nolly Getgood, who in my opinion is probably, probably the most apt person to ask and to debate the reality of this. And we've both come to the conclusion that it's probably real. And it's shocking to know, but the signs are there. Again, when he was playing the snare and the hi-hat on its own there, lovely rim shot. The one before it, because some of his fucking CPU is used up in the kick drums, less good. If you were sampling, it wouldn't be that good. See, not a rim shot, not rim shotting. Because he's concentrating. No rim shots, rim shots. It sounds programmed, I am gonna agree with everyone. I don't think it is though. And that scares me very much. Two kicks weren't in time. It's the only time he's played something that hasn't been in time. Again, in this, he's just very, very clever, and he's like, I'll put that one, I'll leave one little flub in, which is not really a flub, but there's two kicks too close together. This is as not me saying, oh, you can't, you couldn't do it better. I fucking couldn't do it better. I'm trying to find out why this is real. Proof to the reality of the situation. Ready? Those. Unless he meant to do a flam there, in which case he is absolutely fucking on, an, I mean, he's on another level anyway, but I feel like that wasn't supposed to be a flam. But they left it in. I don't think the glitchy guitars help his case. They make it sound a bit more programmed because they are gridded to fuck and that is how you would record nice music, nice. Yeah, he could be kick flaming on purpose, sure. It could be happening. Like those kick drums are happening. Let's just get that little fucking... Let's get that last bit. The kick drums at the end are happening. They're happening, they're in time. Oh, just watch the end in slow motion, cool. Do you hear how the toms sound nicer now he's playing quieter? Because he's a, he can hit them harder. All these things really have to sleuth on a motherfucker. But all these things 
GT Omega John's in the fucking his house. Look at my nice chair, John. Look at my nice chair. I love my chair. It's very nice. A couple of people in the Discord also bought this chair. Through me, so just in case, just in case you're wondering. Oh, stop selling and stuff. Watch the fucking video. Every one of those kicks is happening. 